welcome along and welcome back to Attingham Park. Today we are going to be getting on with a whole load of work around the yard and getting our sell-off done. We've got some weeds to get got rid of in the winter wheat that we planted last time. Uh, we need to refill these tractors actually. So uh, we're going to refill this. We're going to get the 8340 on field 14. Uh, getting that done as well. So we'll get that cultivated today. Ready to start picking up stones next time. Uh, and then we uh, need to get into our truck over there. And start selling off the canola. This is because the canola has reached best price. We're at 68,391 for the remaining canola we have. Uh, that is better than uh, the max price, uh, which would only give us 67. So we want to get that sold today. The price is dropping. So the quicker that we can get onto that job, the better. Uh, I do want to get these two tractors started off though first. Uh, if we can get this cultivator and the weeder going, uh, then we are going to be getting uh, these jobs done very quickly. Uh, and it should mean that A, our crops are in a good place. And uh, B, we're able to get rid of all the stones in these two big fields really quickly too. So first things first, on field 14, we want to set this up to do a uh, course play course. So we will generate a course for field 14. Uh, same as before. I'm actually going to double the number of headlands because two was fairly small last time. Uh, same as normal. Uh, longest edge is exactly what we want. So let's generate the course. And yep, longest edge is this top one here. And it seems to be doing it fairly well. This is pretty much what happened when we did the harvest on it as well. So we'll head down the bottom end and get this started. And that is down at the top end of the field here bring it around nothing to unfold again this is three meters on a very big field so it's probably going to take a couple of days for this tractor to get through this uh we may have to get one of the other tractors on the stone picking in fact we'll probably get the 7810 on the stone picking on field 13 next time so first waypoint let's set that and away that goes and we can then pull this tractor here our uh, 7610 into I think I've still got the yeah, still got the weeder on the floor. Uh, we can pull that into here, get this refilled as well, uh, like so, and then we'll get this out on the two fields of wheat that we planted last month, so that those will then be weed free as well. Uh, so this is going to be heading out to field six first uh, in order to get that fairly finicky. And, uh, and fairly oddly shaped field done first. So bring this down to field six here. And, and we can get set up at the edge. Again, we'll set this going course play. Now I'm going to try longest edge on this. And we know that we, we kind of want to go along this edge here. If we can. Now field six we know we can't get from underneath our overlay. Uh, manual, I'm going to go longest edge and see what this generates for this. Uh, we are doing three headlands. Yeah, we'll do three headlands on here as well. So generate field course. And yeah, there we go. Look, longest edge has put it along there. It's going to get a little bit finicky in the corner here, but I'm hoping the three headlands on this uh, is going to be absolutely fine for it. So let's take this tractor down the bottom end of the field and get it started. And again, as we approach this, you can see the huge amount of zigzags that it has early on. But at the same time, it is at least giving it a wide area to turn around. So bring this to here. First waypoint unfold our weeder our hoe because this is this is a hoe we have to use on here because direct seeding always creates uh second stage weeds which is slightly annoying uh first waypoint and i think yep 
that's headed off and getting the job done. Which brings us back to our yard and our truck. We still have not purchased this truck. This is still leased. I'm guessing, though, uh, payment of it is not going to be too difficult at this point. Uh, now, we are at 4.9 hours, so this is immediately going to cost us a load of money to sell this canola. That's not a huge problem. Uh, we want to empty out the remaining potatoes from the garden and get rid of that as well. We have more than enough potatoes in our pig feeder. So the remaining potatoes in the garden, we might as well get those loaded up and sold. So canola, we have 51,000 litres. This takes 30,000 litres. So it's going to be a couple of trips with this truck. Total value is going to be 30, yeah, 37,000. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, 43,400. So price is still dropping. It's lost another seven pounds. The quicker we can get this sold today, the better. And location we need to take it to is county stores. So let's tag that. But I'm fairly sure that is down the bottom corner there. In fact, yes, I can see the sky beam going up. So uh, let's put our pedal to the metal and get this canola delivered and some money in. Hopefully before it ticks over into its fifth hour and uh, charge us a load more money for using this truck. Down to county stores, and it's round the back of the fuel station here. So uh, we've done an awful lot of selling, actually, to county stores over the past couple of years that we've been here on Attingham Park. And, uh, yeah, it's always a fairly good, high-paying place to sell to. Uh, let's tip here and get that going. I'm just going to jump out. So, yeah, we clear the beacon and let's see how much money this makes. First load done and 39,654 plus another 2,360 in our environmental score. Well over 40,000. So about 42,000 from that. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic straight off the bat. Uh, we're up to 47,000. In fact, yes, we'd spent 2,000 as this went over the five-hour mark when we uh, first got here and, uh, and on, our, on our way over here. So it cost us 2,000 for the lease of this truck. Um, and yeah, we are back up uh, to uh, 47,000. Absolutely fantastic. And that is just our first load off here. Let's reload our truck for the second run. Uh, we've got less than a full trailer in here. If we bring this up, 21,373. Uh, so about two thirds of a trailer of this. The other thing I want to check, and I think we checked this last time, but I just want to double check for my own thoughts. How much are our sunflowers worth? Because we can transfer them into here and get them off the ground once the canola's done. Uh, 1,438. Oh, in fact, yeah. Sunflowers are at their worst price right now. But in two months' time, um, in the later parts of winter, they will be worth a lot more money. I do want to try and get them, though, today into the silo if we can. Because it'll be easier to keep tabs on things. Before we head out, though, this is in need of some more fuel. And we're actually going to be able to fill up our fuel tank as well, uh, having got all this money in. So that is very good news. Truck is filled. Let's get back on the road, get this sold. And then I think we've got a few bales left out on the field. In fact, yeah, field one is what we're going to have to deal with next. And, uh, and that is a field full of bales for us to sell today as well and, uh, and get a little bit of extra cash from those. Back down to the sell point again. Spin around in here and get this unloading. So back her up. Always drops into R1 when we go into reverse. Lots of equipment that does that. 
Makes it really difficult, especially if you're doing things like a silage clamp. If you're if you're trying to get the silage clamp to be compacted. Going backwards and forwards and having the reverse always go into first gear in reverse can be really, really annoying. We had that on Spruce Mountain recently. Almost unloaded what we've got here in the canola, though. And, yeah, looking at going up to 77,459. Uh, 28,175 plus... A hundred and uh, one thousand six hundred and seventy seven uh, in the environmental score. So looking really good. Uh, we're definitely going to be able to get field 13 scanned now. And um, we'll probably get that scanned before we sell any further crops because that will help raise our environmental score a bit um, and earn extra money selling anything more. I'm going to put this back in the shed then as we're not going to be using this until January rolls around now. Uh, best prices have not been reached on any of our other crops quite yet. Uh, we want to uh, go and uh, make a bit of cash from those in a month's time. But as I said, we should be able to get field 13 scan now. In fact, Let's get that done before the snow arrives. So into precision farming, uh, we will select field 13. I'm expecting, like most of our fields on this farm, uh, we've got a massive mix of this loam and this silty clay. I'm expecting field 13 to be about the same. Uh, it is going to cost us 8,750 for that. So that is not bad at all and yeah look at that that is just one massive field of silty clay just like everything else actually around the river uh fields one and two are definitely our best fields uh but um yeah that is that is not a great field um but it is a field that we got for quite a bit of a discount so it's all good Right, next up, we are going to grab this tractor here, put the bale spike on it, uh, grab our flatbed trailer, and head out to go and collect up all of those bales that we've got over on field one. Unfortunately, before we can get doing the bales and getting those picked up, our 8340 has broken down in the field, so uh, it is in need of repairs. Let's bring it to here and our workshop then and get this repaired. Uh, it's quite good, actually, that we're repairing stuff at this point in the year. Uh, it's kind of when I expect to normally repair stuff anyway. Uh, I like to try and spend a little bit of time going through and getting all of my equipment repaired. And you can see after a fairly hard year on it, it tends to, uh, to be breaking down around about... The winter time and into december so uh, now that this is repaired we can get this started back on the field and then we just need to head into field one here and collect up this last field full of bales i'm gonna put the trailer on the top of the hill because we need to have a fairly central point to load everything up uh how many bales have we got on here one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, I think there's one down the bottom there. Yeah, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bales. Uh, we can do six at a time on a level. So, uh, in fact, yeah, easily do six at a time on a level. So, three high on this should mean that uh, we fit everything on this bale trailer from here. And uh, we can probably then put the weight a bit more towards the back. Uh, which means we will be able to get uh, this transported and delivered, hopefully without having to drop off the weight I have on the back of this. So uh, we'll try going three high. We should easily fit 18 bales on going three high. And uh, we can then go and sell this all at once.
We're getting to the halfway point here of the bales on the trailer. And while I was very nervous before about stacking four bales at a time and trying to get them onto the back of the trailer last time, uh, I'm less nervous about this. Three bales seems to be fairly good. It, it seems to be fairly stable. And if I'm careful, they'll slot on here fairly easily. Uh, it's nice not having a huge amount of pressure to fit as many bales on here as we can. Uh, the whole thing that uh, the bales fit on as well as they do for uh, this field is, uh, is really, really good. Do I have another bale? So I have a bale close there. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine one in the far corner so yep that's exactly what i'm expecting and they should all fit on here and i'm really hoping i have enough fuel in this tractor to finish this job uh, and we can go and refuel before we deliver them rather than having to refuel uh disappear off this field uh refuel and then uh go and come back because that will waste precious daylight that we have today while we're doing this our 7610 has finished field six, which is great. Uh, we want to bring this back to the farm then and get this started over on field 12A so that that is now weed free as well. And that means we need to bring the tractor down to here onto the field and hopefully be able to very quickly set up a course so field 12a three headlands uh in fact on the here we can reduce that to two and longest edge do me a course no i don't want that i want it manual then 90 degrees generate course and there we go much straighter much nicer down to the bottom corner and unfold this and we can get it set off first waypoint and away it goes and that now yep will mean that this field gets weeded as well and yeah we are well on target to make sure we have a weed free farm this year the first snowflakes have started to fall so we've got snow coming down i'm hoping things are warm enough that this isn't going to settle we could really do with snow free ground for a while uh it's gonna cause us issues uh hopefully as well it won't cause too much sinking because we'll have to get the weeder off the field if that's the case as well so yeah it's a little bit of a worrying time as far as our fields go now why am i doing this with two bales now rather than three uh because in a move that will surprise nobody, I've miscounted the number of bales I've got. So uh, what we're going to do is put two on this side, two on the other side, and uh, and then stack two in the middle. Two on this side, two on the other side. No, that should be right. Maybe I haven't miscounted. I've got... Oh, no, I've got a bale down the bottom there. So, yes. We still have to go three uh, three high on either side. Um, but it's just we've got to go four high on one side. So that is why I've taken a stack of two and put them on that side. But they're going to put a stack of three on the other side. And uh, unfortunately, it does mean our weight is going to be front heavy, which might mean we have to abandon our weight on the back of the tractor. Uh, in order to even things out. Uh, but uh, if that's the price I had to pay for having an extra bail and earning a bit of extra cash, I'm happy to pay it. With the lower light in winter, it's getting fairly dark under this heavy cloud cover that the snow has brought with it. So I've got my lights on on the tractor. It's, yeah, it's it's rather it is rather dull now. Um, we've got a little bit of sinking going on. Certainly, uh, the ground is getting wetter from the snowfall. 
Uh, so that's not great. We should be off this field before it gives us a problem here. But the fields we're working, um, we want to be careful. Let's put this stack on the top of here. I've got no way of putting that bale in the middle. So we'll have to leave it there. It's, uh, it's one of those things where this tractor just doesn't quite reach high enough with this front loader arm. Right, let's see if putting this on the back here makes this wheelie. If it doesn't, I think we're all right. We're going to be able to take these bales to sell with this tractor with the weight on the back. That's not great, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we've got no front wheel traction from that. So let's drop that off. We'll head round to the barn, we'll refill the tractor, uh, and we'll drop off this rear weight that we've got here. And, uh, and hopefully we'll then be in a much better position to use this to transport these bales to sell. So I want to drop off the rear weight at the end here. I've got, sort of got an area now that I'm collecting bits of equipment at the end of the barn. Uh, just as a, a small storage space. Uh, it's quite useful. Uh, I'm going to need to drop that weight, though. There we go. And off. Right. That should give us now a little bit more uh, weight or should change the center of gravity for this tractor uh, to be a little further forward. And with any luck, we'll be able to then get this trailer going. I meant to refuel the tractor then. We'll have to do it next time we're going through the yard. We're definitely sinking into the ground a bit more now. I'm, uh, I want to get this off here before we can't get this off here. So back it up. Connect it. Okay. That is better. Yeah. We're much better now. Our central gravity is further forward. So we're actually able to use this tractor to pull the trailer. Before we go down to sell, I want to top off with a bit of fuel. So we just need to get this close enough to the fuel tank. And yeah, refuel it. Uh, we've only got 300 litres left, so I'm going to have to spend a load of money and re, uh, refill our fuel tank. Um, but with, it re with the tractor refueled, uh, we can now head down to the animal market and uh, go and get some money for our bales what we got uh, 156,000 liters nearly 157,000 liters on here uh, hopefully that's going to make us a nice little bit of money and like the 7610 before it this little zebra has done a fantastic job i don't think this is overly powerful this uh what is uh it doesn't say oh yeah Oh, it does say, but it's right behind the uh, front protector guard for our front loader. Uh, but I think this is only like a 5640 or, or something like that. We did not get a very powerful one of these uh, to do this because it was mainly just meant as a uh, front loader tractor around the farm. Right, let's back her up and have a look how much we're going to make for this. It's really, really nice amount of cash. I think we're going to get off here. So into the sell point. Uh, just double check. This is the best place for straw. So straw, action livestock, spales. Yep, yeah, exactly where we are. Uh, currently only two pounds below best price. So uh, we're going to make 36,964 rather than 37,500. And 72. If we sold all our bales, this of course is not all of our bales. So let's start unclipping these as they sell. And there we go. Last stack dropping down now. And there we go. That is uh, 13,900. And 33 plus 925 environmental score. Very, very nice uh, little bit of extra cash in here. So let's get this back up to the farm. We are losing the light quickly. 
uh, I need to check on my two hired tractors uh, because with this snow continuing, I think they're sinking into the ground. As I expected, our 8340 is about halfway through the field, but it's not sinking in, which is absolutely awesome news. So uh, the snow isn't affecting it too badly. Meanwhile, the 7610 seems to be doing okay. Let's just jump out. Yep, yeah, that is also not sinking in. So uh, that's really, really good. I am going to leave these two tractors then working into the evening, I think. Uh, and for today, we're going to leave it there. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.